Welcome to Secrets from the Saddle podcast. I'm Sylvie Dao, your host, fellow cyclist, bike club founder, cycling coach, bike race junkie, just truly super passionate about cycling. My journey with cycling started 20 years ago when I opened a spin studio, started a women's race team, and founded a women's only cycling club called Cycle Fit Chicks. I'm super thrilled to reveal all aspects that make the world of cycling operate. I'm so excited to be able to bring you interesting people from around the world, pro cyclists, recreational cyclists, coaches, event organizers, bike shop owners, everything and everyone you need to know or ever wondered about when it comes to cycling. I know you'll enjoy this episode. Hey friends, before we get started, I'm going to throw a little ad your way as a cyclist what is a spring all about? It's about getting your bike ready and learning some specific skills on how to deal with a bike mechanical while out for a ride. Let me ask you this. Do you avoid going long distances because you're afraid of experiencing a flat and not knowing what to do and possibly having to phone someone to pick you up? I can totally relate. I used to be that way. Now to avoid having that ever happening, I have something for you. I have created an online bike maintenance webinars and local hands-on clinics. Check the website for new dates regularly. Here's what you will learn. How to take your back wheel off, how to change a flat, how to adjust brakes, repair a broken chain, patch a flat. In addition, you will learn how to use the tools you're carrying in your bike bag, such as Allen keys and a chain brake tool tire levers, how to use your pumps, what are chain links and how to use them. With these new skills and confidence, you will be able to handle any mechanical while cycling alone or in a group. No matter where you are globally, you can benefit from one of these webinars. If you're local, the clinics are more for you and that's for Ottawa, Ontario area. I've been teaching these clinics for over 10 years and trust me when I say, Everyone learns something. A recording will be provided for the webinars as well as Amazon shopping lists for both webinars and clinics for the bike tools that you will be using and learning how to use. Make sure to secure your spot today at www.sylviedaou.ca or bmcclinic.ca. Thank you very much and enjoy the episode. All right, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Friday's episode of Secrets from the Saddle All Things Cycling Podcast with your host, Sylvie Dew. And you'll never guess what I'm doing today. Maybe you can. You're probably sitting there, what the hell is that noise in the background? Well, yeah, you guessed it. I am multitasking. <laughs> I don't know if you've been following um, the podcast page or my uh, Instagram page, and if you aren't, please take a moment to go over there and follow Secrets from the Saddle podcast and uh, Sylvie Dew. But most importantly, I would love, or we would love you to sign up for our newsletter. So, and that would give you the chance um, to get a one time, well, a Sunday newsletter featuring the podcast that came out the week before. So you don't have to always go to um, the platform and find what's going on if you haven't followed, uh, which would, you know, really help the podcast um, with our numbers. Um, Did you know we have over 200,000 downloads? It's like astonishing. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And um, so, yeah, it's so the newsletter. And what I'm going to be adding slowly to it is, um, you know, training tips, um, because I'm all about health and wellness. So nutrition and um, training and fitness tips for cycling. Um, if you didn't know, I work with women over 40. Can you hear me? I'm like, I'm out of breath. I'm only going like 50 watts, <laughs> but I am warming up. So there you go. Um, yeah. So and little things like that. And 
if you're listening to this and you have a business that you're looking to promote, we are now selling advertising space on our podcast as well as it's going to be placed in the newsletter. So that's another thing to think about. If you're curious, flip me a message um, on Instagram and I'll send you our template. It's quite reasonable. Um, We do three episodes a week and it's great exposure. Our biggest audience is the United States and we're all over Europe actually in over 35 countries, which is really, really cool. But um, let's get down to business. Um, one of the things that I've been offering as a free download, I have a couple free downloadables, is the new cycling snacks. Now for myself, I've been starting to experiment with whole foods, like more whole foods. I've never been one to um, cycle with a lot of gels or cubes um, for decades now, really. So I'm experimenting with some of the training snacks or the cycling snacks that are out there and uh, starting to put together my own little recipe or grouping of recipes. I do really like, out of all of them, the types of um, liquid type food that you can put into reusable food pouches. Um, I really like that actually. Uh, Over like making bars and uh, balls and things like that. So uh, I've been working on that. And, but you can go get my first one my first uh, series of five recipes. If you go to askcoachsylvie.com, you can download those there and start using them yourself. Um, This new one I'm working on, I will have a calorie count and per serving. I think that's super important. A lot of people don't actually add that. Um, It requires a little bit more work But uh, for a lot of us, we are looking for that. How many calories is taken in per serving or per bar. Um, So that is going to be an addition to in the next um, next, uh, download. So if you want to get the first one, go there. I have other things like hill, hill repeats, my nine favorite hill repeats drills. Super cool. Um, okay, so what we're going to talk about today is actually really all about why I'm sitting on this trainer. Um, because I have gotten into a habit for the last couple of years of getting up at five in the morning. And, you know, at first it was like, I have to get up at five in the morning, or I do want to get up at five in the morning to, for a couple of other reasons, have some quiet time, journal, meditate, um, catch up on work, so four different things. But really, um, I started to really enjoy it and putting it into my day um, for those very reasons. But the thing is that I was like, yes, I need to meditate yes, I need to journal all the time, and yes, I was. Um, It was good to get things off my chest. And then um, I hired a virtual assistant, okay? Virtual assistant is in the Philippines. Virtual assistant is 12 hours off of mine, so now the early mornings are spent uh, talking with the virtual assistant in the Philippines, and just setting up the day, and uh, anyways, but that's kind of fun. She, maybe you guys have noticed the change on the Instagram uh, podcast page. She's amazing, by the way. Um, shout out to her, and uh, like just putting together some of those posts. Like, oh my god, I could never do that. There are some people who are made to be like 
artistic and design create great designs it ain't me <laughs> really basic so anyways but uh, one of the things that I do want to talk about is the fact that uh, I I was like you know maybe I could start training in the mornings like at five instead of like I could you know what does training mean well for about 45 minutes, you can do a variety of things for your training. One is just sort of spin your legs. Uh, other, you can get into, Swift has a variety of really high intensity workouts that are you know, anywhere from 20 minutes to 45 to an hour to longer. So you don't have to sit on your trainer for a long time to get a good workout. And that's what I love. Um, so I was like, you know, I kind of like to work out in the morning. But then I'm like, ugh, no, sort of like, you tried that before and you didn't like it. I think I tried it once and I was like, no, definitely not for me. And I can't even think about how many years ago that was. So this is what this little episode is all about is how. A negative experience, like a one-time negative experience, how many years ago has stopped me from trying to try it again? You know, get on my bike, try working out in the morning. Would that work out? You know, because um, I literally don't have the time afterwards, and I kind of like this time, and uh, yeah. So, do you have those things that you're, you're putting off? You can like, you couldn't possibly do that because it just didn't work back, you know, five years ago when you were a different person. Maybe the timing wasn't right and, you know, you weren't right. You're in the wrong mindset or mind frame or frame of mind, I should say. And, uh, you know, how could it possibly, possibly work out again? And so, uh, three days ago, I was supposed, well, on Tuesday, I was supposed to race with my team, and I didn't, because um, kids were getting sick. And I'm like, you know what? I feel like I've got a little scratch in my throat. I don't want to go and exert myself uh, and you know, break down my immune system a little bit and you know, put myself at risk of getting sick. I just need to go to bed early. And so that's what I did. I was like, you know what? What if I got up on Wednesday morning and got on my bike and just did like 30 minutes spin? Because uh, you know, I missed a workout Tuesday I should, and I'm probably not going to get on my bike until Saturday. I need to, you know, spin out my legs or keep them going. And you know what? You know what, guys? For those who are listening, I did it. And you know the thing is that I have set myself up a way better down here. I have, like, five bike shorts and a bunch of... Uh, sports bras. So literally all I have to do is come down here in my pajamas and slip into all my gear and get on my bike. And that made it, that makes it a lot easier instead of like having to run upstairs, uh, go through my drawers, get my shorts, get my top and come down and ride. So I can literally get on my bike in my kit in a moment's notice and start. So being set up is, being set up for success is a huge part of it. And uh, Wednesday I came down here, I fired up Swift, and I noticed they had a really new setup. I don't think I like it. it makes me have to think more. I'm like, I'm not into this. I just want to pick. I just want to pick a workout 
and work out. Not have to pick all the places I want to write. Anyways, you know what I mean. What do you think about this new world, anyways? You know, mark the comments. I don't know. I feel confused. I don't want to be confused when I'm coming down to work out. I just want it to be simple. Um, yeah, so anyways, I can figure that out, figure that out. I'm like, okay, this will turn my head. <laughs> this will make me stop. Um, I got on. I was, I had my water inside here. Mm. Because first thing you need to do is drink water when you get up in the morning. Plus, I have my little energy shot that I take every morning. It has adaptogens in um, ashwagandha and wolfberry and all these amazing things to help boost my energy level in the mornings. I just, I just love drinking it. <laughs> you know what they say the first thing in the morning you should do something you love or like you know, like you just feel better when you're like enjoying something that you love. Like it could be coffee, it could be tea, it could be water, it could be this. Um, the enjoyment factor goes up. So, the moral of this podcast episode is that go back to those one or two things that you have been putting off simply because you had a bad experience or it didn't work out at the time and you've been like holding off trying it again. Um, and, uh, and try it, you know? Because what they say is that we're a different person every six months, we're doing something different, different mindset, things have shifted, thoughts, uh, focuses, and it's true. Um, so, the moral of this story is that the last three days, hence today, I'm like, I haven't done my podcast episode yet, and this morning is, I had to work out online at 7.30, so I'm going to do an all upper body workout, and then I have to do a little bit of work, and then I'm going to give plasma, <laughs> don't forget to give blood, people. Every, like, there's serious in shortage. Ask them what they need, plasma or blood. They said more plasma. I'm like, okay, take some plasma. Um, and, and then I gotta go and teach a bike maintenance clinic, which I absolutely love. If you guys haven't checked out the free webinar or if you're local, oh my God, sign up. Like, dirt cheap for all the questions you're going to have answered, all the hands-on experience, um, like everything I'm talking about is in the show notes. So go check that out. I'll have those consistently to the end of June. Um, and then, uh, yeah, oh, and I'm going to be at Decathlon. I'm going to be doing some videos there on some of their cycling gear. I'm going to be checking that out because I'm a, an affiliate. I have a, an affiliate membership there. And uh, they have some really, really good stuff. I know that Decathlon is kind of all over the place. You can order online. So they have some really great, reasonably priced clothing. Okay, you know, like, I don't know how anybody can afford a $250 jersey. Like, I was looking at some of these, like, cycling pages that are, you know, you get sent, hey, check out my stuff. I'm like, uh, not even <laughs> if I was getting a discount. Um, but uh, seriously, so I'm going to go check out some of their stuff and do some videos on YouTube. So check that out. And um, yeah, I'm going to come home and uh, we're going to go camping tonight. I'm going to ride 100K tomorrow. I got another clip at the clinic on Sunday. And uh, yeah, so anyway, so I'm here. I've got a little uh, zone one workout that I created on Swift training. And uh, so all I have to do is just sit here and spin. And 
done. And I don't have to overdo it. The thing is overdoing it, right? This has been three ties in a row. I'll train tomorrow longer, more intense. And then Sunday off, probably Monday off. No, I'll have to ride Monday because I race Tuesday night. And now I'm setting myself up for a different routine uh, Thursday mornings, very shortly. Um, I'll be conducting a hill repeat session training in the mornings in our local uh, Gatineau Park. I did that last two years. That worked out really well for my hill climbing, really well. You only do need to do hill repeats or repeats once a week. So, but here's the thing, this is pretty cool, before you go, is that this month in May, I interviewed Joe Friel, and we talked and broke down what it means to be an aging athlete. Okay, three part segment, three parts. Make sure you're on that training, or on that um, newsletter, in that newsletter, so, Oh yeah, I just completed a, a badge, yay! Um, in Swift, <laughs> I was like, it was 6K, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Like, it's so amazing talking to Joe. So, because I just, I turned 51, and I'm like, okay, things are changing, I need to know um, what I need to do to switch things up. Because some things aren't working, and the thing is that when we're older, Anyways, I'm not going to disclose what we talked about, but you need to get on that newsletter so you don't miss it because it was some good stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, we broke it down. Broke down his book, Fast After 50, and uh, it was really, really good conversation. I was stressing about that one. Like, what do I do? What do I say? You know, or, or like, is this going to go right? You know what? So putting it together is kind of fun. So anyways, just want to share that with you guys. So hope you have yourself a great weekend. And, uh, you know, hope you got your goals set up for the summer. And I'm just going to say that, you know, getting back on the bike in the morning has been great. I do take care, I just sit on my bike, I can take care of work, texting, and text and ride. And uh, my legs are getting spin. Um, you know, really, I haven't hit over 100 watts. So, <laughs> but the point is that I'm on my bike and it makes a big difference keeping your legs moving so that when you wanna do the heavy stuff, like on the weekend, um, like tomorrow, I set up a 100k ride. Um, you're not starting like super, um, uh, what do you say, like, like you don't have to worry about uh, warming up so much. You know, your legs are ready to go. I think that's important. And don't forget, rest days are double important. So. With that, everyone, have yourself an amazing day. I love you all. Thanks for listening. Make sure you share. And don't forget to follow on Instagram. Or more importantly, just get on the newsletter. I mean, the Instagram stuff is great. We put out some amazing content on our stories. I'm trying to get more reels. But honestly, I'd like to fill up my, Facebook, my YouTube channel with more good content and uh, not being under the gun, of have to, but always having to be under a minute. So with that, I'll see you guys later. Love ya, bye. Listen to that, I'm doing it. Make sure you're doing something right. Go back to that thing that you're holding off, holding off on and try it again. Set yourself up and it's gonna feel good. And if it doesn't, then I guess you weren't meant to do it. See you later. Thank you so much for spending this time with me on the Secrets from the Saddle podcast. 
learning more about sighting people, places, and things that make cycling such an exciting sport. I am so glad you stopped by today. Please leave me a review if you feel so moved to do so. I would love to hear your feedback. And if you could take one second to share this episode with someone you think would enjoy it, I would be forever grateful. Also, if you could please leave me a review, if you feel so moved, by going to iTunes and leaving me an honest thought and an honest comment, telling me what you think, and most importantly, tell me what you'd like to hear more of. It would really help me to bring more great, inspiring cycling stories to you. Until then, have an amazing day. Make sure you ride your bike. And don't forget to visit my YouTube channel if you'd like to see the full version of this podcast live.